Hi, I'm Christiane. Hi, Christiane. Hi, Christiane. Hi, Christiane. Hello. Ryan, Des, Jimmy, and Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, um, I'm fascinated with um, TV and television and how it's made and, and the background of it. So tell me a little bit about how your I'm documentary. I'm fascinated by your flair. Yeah. It's very, yes. yeah. the, very the, well thought the out. Ewok. I know, I love Ewok it. pendant. Does that ward off Ewoks or does it attract them? Well, hopefully Here? it attracts them. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Yeah. Um, so, so how did you you know, come about with the documentary and I mean, was it a fascination with television? Um, yeah, no, yeah, it was, it was, I'm um, uber TV geek, um, one of my earliest memories watching Star Trek when I was a kid, you know, unfortunately it was the Spock's brain episode, so, but, you know, <laughs> you live and learn. Um, yeah, so like, um, my whole life I've been watching TV, especially American television, um, growing up with it back home, I'm from Ireland originally, so when I was growing up over there, the, the local broadcaster didn't have the money to make their own program, so there was a lot of American television to grow up on. From A Team to Knight Rider to Auto Man, which I missed terribly. I wish somebody would reboot Auto Man. Um, and then, like, I, I got interested. It, it was one of the reasons I got interested in actually trying to make stuff myself and got into the film industry over there. And um, that kind of combination of being interested in both what's going on in front of the camera and behind the camera um, made me very interested in the people who were making shows. And that really kind of started with The X Files with Chris Carter, who's on the panel today, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then into Joss with Buffy, and then really, uh, I suppose with Damon and Carlton with Lost, it kind of exploded in a way at that point in time, and I, I was devouring all the information I could find, but I couldn't find enough information about them. And Surely I, there must be a film out there about that. That's, that's <laughs> what I was asking, it's like, yeah. you know, uh, I kept waiting for it to happen, and when it didn't, I was like, okay, I'll see if I can try and do something myself, and, and here we are. <laughs> yeah. So do you find any commonality between the showrunners? Because I, I, I was um, mm. interviewing J.J. Abrams a few months ago, and yeah. uh, and I was I didn't realize how many projects he's actually involved in. Oh, crazy! And it's like the world of J.J. Abrams. I don't Abrams. think he knows how many projects. Yeah. He's involved. Well, he doesn't really. <laughs> I don't think he does either. Because yeah. I asked him about, it, he's like, you know, I have a team. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. but your name is on all of it. <laughs> like, you have to have your hand in it somewhere. But and you couldn't ask about Star Wars, but <laughs> I know we, we've been desperately trying to find out what we can about Star Wars as well. But um, yeah. well, you know, we we do actually talk to JJ in the film about that. You know, if you see his name up on screen as executive producer, exactly what mm -hmm. is his input or, or or what he's doing with the show. And it, I mean, it does get difficult when when you do have so many different different projects to go on. But he he do, he is very cognizant of the fact that he doesn't want. He doesn't want to be too hands on, but he doesn't want to be too hands off either. Like so, there is there is input, but it's more that he's trying to help them, whatever show or not, whatever show that he's doing, do whatever they want to do. You know, he's not coming in and saying, "You need to change this and you need to do that." Yeah. It's more if they ring him up with a problem, he tries to solve it. So, so it, it seemed like you did, um, from what I read, you did more of the scripted shows. All scripted, yes. all, all scripted, scripted. Yeah. exclusively scripted. Yes. And no reality, no reality. No reality, because yeah. um, that's not scripted at all? Well, it is <laughs> scripted, it's not the world that we wanted to explore. Okay. It's a very different uh, enterprise right. entirely. Uh, and, and that, yeah. That's Doc 2, maybe? If anybody out there wants to fund us, we just get through this one first. Yes, Thank you. And for this one, where where do we find it? When is it coming? When is okay, so we, how do we get it? We, in, a mer in a merger with God, we were discussing this on the way over. In a merger with God, we are going to issue a copy of the film with every newborn baby. So uh, maybe not God. Yeah. <laughs> or, um, <laughs> we 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 actually only we only finished in the end of February. Mm -hmm. um, it, yeah. it was it's been a very extended process. It's it's it was very challenging to actually edit the film because we had so many people who were so good. The, it's weird, there was such an abundance of good material that trying to make that work in a kind of a 90 minute time frame was, was a very difficult thing, to, but we, I think we've done it. Um, so we have a distribution partner here in the States at the moment that we're working with on the release plans and we hope to be able to give some def definite information towards the end of next month. Okay. But we, we want to try and get it out there as soon as possible at this stage because we, we want people to see it. You know, mm -hmm. People have been interested for a long time and we want to get it out there and, and, and hopefully they'll like it. We hope they'll like it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> they will like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so, uh, I guess, because um, I'm a female, 
where I don't know what the percentages of like female to male That's a great showrunners question. Are going we encountered on. along the way, yeah. uh, pushing against the status quo, and like it's well, it may not necessarily be the mission to, to you know, but we you want the broadest cross section of voices. Mm. You can have diversity, you know, right. gender, race, all of that, <clears throat> and we found it's very very hard for women and minorities within in, in that industry, mm. and not. And uh, thankfully, we, we were able to get Janet Samaro and Jane Espenson mm -hmm. and a few others who um, I think Kings, Michelle yeah, King, Michelle and, King and, and they Robert Michelle too. King. The yeah, we, we, we do we do take it as as, as a discussion point in the yeah. film because it is, there is whether I'm, I'm not entirely sure it's by design, but there is an imbalance there yes. at the moment. Um, and it, it's it's interesting. Like we approached a lot of female showrunners who didn't want to take part as well for, mm -hmm. for whatever the politics that might be associated with that as well um, which is fair enough but um, it, it is something that I did want to definitely have as there's, part of the film. There's an obvious disparity and but we tried the best yeah. we could and you know yeah. we're but, very uh, but, grateful but for the, the women we do have. Yeah the female contributors around the film are very very good mm -hmm. very good so well, I can't wait to see it. What can we, is there a website that we should yes, go there to? Is. Is there? <laughs> 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 well, I want to say, there you go. It's showrunners show 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 the movie. Okay. 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 Uh, Twitter, it's showrunners film, okay. and Facebook is just showrunners. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So please check us okay. out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you so much, guys. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.